So how do you stop the addiction? That's the question with no easy answer. The treatment options are limited. In Hamilton County, there's only one nonprofit, non-hospital based program. Local 12's Megan Mongello is live with more on what it takes to get clean. Hi, Megan. Well, hi, Cami. With the outbreak this week, the building behind me, which houses the Center for Addiction Treatment, says they've been getting 40 to 50 calls for help a day. The problem is there's not enough space or resources. But for the folks who do make it inside, the services can make a difference. A sign in the housing wing of the Center for Addiction Treatment says the recovery party starts here. The men and women are in a 28-day program that begins with detox. It's nurse staff 24-7, and we have a physician who's here uh, 60 hours a week, uh, but she's on call the others. So we have um, medical professionals who are monitoring the process of your body withdrawing from the drug. That's just the first step. Intense counseling is next. Michael Rosen says to keep a person clean, they have to change their way of thinking. He says the problem right now is that users are hearing this new batch causes death and overdosing, and that only makes them want it more. If a friend of mine used this and, and overdosed, I know it must be good, and, and I want to experience what it must be like, and I think I'm stronger, and I think I'm, I'm, I can I have a higher tolerance, and maybe he was just weak, but I can do this, and I want to experience that high. The heroin on the streets of Cincinnati this week may be laced with carfentanil or some other powerful additive. An intense but short high causes the addict to crave it again and again. They're curled up in the fetal position in the shower and just can't find any relief, knowing that the, the, the second, literally the, the second that I put this needle back in my arm, I feel better again. And so it's, it's this vicious cycle. A cycle that can be broken, but you can see by the names up in the cat house hallway, not everyone makes it. This is a tribute to those who've died from drugs, a visual wake up call to get clean or else. And right now, the Cat House has space for 60 men and women. They're in the process of building a new wing, which will give them 15 additional beds, but that won't be done for nine months. So unfortunately, for the folks that need help right now, they might not get it. Reporting live in the West End, Megan Mongello, Local 12 News. And there are plenty who do need help. Megan, thank you. The Hamilton County Heroin Coalition announced plans today to create a countywide response team. They're trying to reach out to those who survived an overdose and then connect them with help if they want it. We have more information on addiction and services that can help at local12.com. Just click on Hooked on Heroin, which is under the News tab.